Hello students, today is Articulation Adventure. <laughs> what does that mean? We're going to be doing, um, we're going to look at something simple in the video today. Um, groupings of four notes. Um, and oftentimes we see especially 16th notes or even 8th notes are beamed in groups of four. And we often find that there's an articulation pattern that goes along with uh, those four notes. Sometimes it's just tonguing them all, sometimes it's slurring groups of four. We're gonna go through all the different little permutations here of uh, four, four note groups and how the articulation works. Uh, so stay tuned. Okay, to start off, what we're gonna do is look at um, just the first little chunk of our C major scale. These are notes we all know. Uh, it's just C, D, E, F, and then going down from G, F, E, D, and then landing on C. You'll notice um, on the screen you see there's the, the first four notes are all beamed together, the four eighth notes, and the second grouping is also a group of four. To start off, we'll just play it like normal, just tongue every note. <laughs> And now within each of those groups of four, we're going to try uh, all the different ways that we can play uh, slurring and tonguing these groups of four notes. So the first way we just played it, that was what I would call tongue four. We're tonguing all the notes, all four notes in the group. Uh, we could do slur four. We could slur the first four notes and slur the last four notes. <laughs> So I'm tonguing the first note of each grouping, and then I'm tonguing the very last note because it's not part of our um, of our groupings here. All right, so so far we've done the groups of four. We've tongued four. We've also done slur four. Let's start to look uh, at some of the other groupings that we can. How, how many different groupings do you suppose there are for just four notes? How many different kind of ways can we play them? I'm going to have you think about that uh, while we go to the next segment. All right, for the next series here, we're going to look at um, ways we can slur out of each of those four groups, different ways we can slur three of the notes, and we'll tongue the remaining note. So if you think about that for a moment, there's two different ways we can do that. We can slur the first three notes and tongue the last one, or we can tongue the first note and slur the other three. And that's really the only way we can do that with only four notes uh, to, to do this articulation uh, adventure. So let's start with slur three, tongue one. So we're going to tongue the C and the F. Then we'll tongue the G and the D. So let's slur three, tongue one. Let's do tongue one, slur three. So groups of three, pretty simple. Uh, we'll, we'll continue on. We're going to go through all the different iterations of this, and then I'll show you how you can apply this to other things that you're working on. All right, this next chunk, we're looking at all the different ways we can slur two notes of the four, and there's quite a few different ways to do this. So the most obvious one would be to slur every two notes, slur them all, right? So it's slur two, slur two. So that, and, and not only is this a, a pattern, but we're also creating kind of a new rhythm. We're tonguing on every beat. Two, uh, two, uh, like that, right? So let's try that one. <laughs> slur two slur two pretty simple I could just slur the first two notes and tongue the second two notes so slur two tongue two all right slur two tongue two what other things could I do I could flip that on its head right tongue two slur two So that um, exhausts 
the easy ones. The remaining ones are quite a bit more difficult. So uh, if we have the four notes, right, we've done slur two, tongue two, we've done tongue two, slur two. Now we're going to do this one. We're going to tongue the first note, slur here, and tongue the last note. Tongue one, slur two, tongue one. This one's a little harder. So we're going to tongue the C, the D, slur to the E, tongue the F. Let's just do that first. And then we're going to do that same pattern on the descent as well. So let's try that one. Tongue one, slur two, tongue one. All right, so that one's pretty tricky there. So we've done slur two, tongue two, tongue two, slur two, tongue one, slur two, tongue one. We've also done slur two, slur two. There's actually one more we can do. Uh, and I call this jazz articulation. It's basically slur two, slur two, um, but we're gonna tongue just the first note and then start slurring groups of two. So instead of having uh, our articulation on the beat, two, uh, two, uh, we're gonna be tonguing on the upbeat. Two, two, uh, two, uh. This one's a little tricky, especially if you've never done this before. So tongue one, and then we're just going to keep slurring groups of two until we end up uh, on our final note. So you notice in that case, I did go ahead and slur into the very last uh, C there. So uh, count them up. How many did we do there? How many different ways can we group those four notes with different articulation patterns? Give that some thought. All right, so in terms of what we were actually playing, uh, we were just introducing that concept, all the different things we can do with groups of four notes. But let's try to apply it to something else, maybe that we know, like a, a major scale, maybe. Um, we can do the major scale in groups of four notes, right? So that's the first four and the next four notes. And then we can go down as well. But for now, I think maybe we'll just stick to going up. Um, I'm going to pick one at random. How about slur two, slur two? That works pretty good. How about slur three, tongue one? So if you're more skilled, you can do this on all of your scales. So let's say um, E flat major. Uh, we can go up and we can go down. We can go to the ninth if you know what that is. I'll try, um, oh, let's do slur two, tongue two. And I'll go up to the nine and back down. So that's a great way to practice through your scales to add a little bit of uh, character to them. Um, also, if you're more skilled or more advanced and you've been working on the Clark studies, uh, study two is, is a great place to start with these. Uh, and some of the other studies also have groupings of four notes. Um, let's just do slur four. So we're actually going to be tonguing instead of just slurring everything like we would normally do on the Clark. <laughs> You could play the whole thing that way in all these nine different ways, right? You can do the jazz uh, articulation. You can do tongue one, slur two, tongue one, all that. Um, so I encourage you to, for some of the more familiar things that you've done many times over, try adding some different articulations to it to spice up uh, your practice just a little bit. So a bit of a final thought here uh, in terms of why this is important. Uh, why it's interesting. Articulation is our main way, uh, at least as we're starting off, of um, really interpreting a, a piece of, of expression. It's one of the ways that we express something. So what I want to do for you, this is just a display, I'm going to do all nine of these. Uh, I'm going to play them kind of rapidly so you can kind of hear the difference between them. Um, and I'm going to go up the C scale I'm going to go ahead and hit the high D above it and work my way down. So I'm going to do 
I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna say what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna play it. All right. So this is tongue uh, tongue four. Slur four. Slur three. Tongue one. Tongue one. Slur three. Uh, slur two. Slur two. Slur two, tongue two. Tongue two, slur two. All right, tongue one, slur two, tongue one. And the jazz articulation. Now, just as a final thought on that jazz one, uh, you can also swing that one. So I played that straight, one and one and one, but you can swing it. Da, do, ah, two, ah, two. It's a great way to practice your scales, especially if you're interested in more jazz studies. So I'm going to swing them, just so you can hear what that sounds like. So there's quite a bit of different expressions for just the major scale there, using all these nine different articulations. All right. So for follow-up students, we're going to be looking at um, all these different ways of, of stringing four notes together with different articulations. Um, if you're still in the red book, we might try the opening thing that we worked on from C to G and back, and we, we'll go through each of these nine uh, different ways of playing them. Uh, if you're more skilled, we'll look at full major scales. Uh, if you're working on the Clark Clark Study 2 is, like I said, excellent for this. It's also a good way to practice the harder ones uh, because when the fingerings are tricky, it helps you slow it down a little bit as well. All right, everybody, we'll see you on Wednesday for our articulation adventure. Bye now.